so I thought I would film a video of my quarantine morning routine, day routine, all that good stuff. I've kind of actually gotten into a routine um, lately, so I thought I'd take you along. I, I look bold because I can't get eyelash extensions because all the salons are closed. It's okay. Um, I'll just grow out my natural ones. It'll be great. Um, but I wake up make my bed and then I do breakfast and have a Bible study and I've been doing that pretty consistently and it's been really awesome. Today's a lot of content creating. I saved Tuesday as like making TikToks, making this video, and um, making uh, Instagrams, some wall or uh, watercolor things for my design Instagram. So it's going to be a lot of fun content creating that you guys can come behind the scenes with and so I'll have makeup soon so I don't look so sad. Um, but let's make my bed. She's got the phone cord twisting around a thing. She's a sight to see. See, Jane. Why are you staring out the window? So usually I would do my Devo at my desk, but it's just like so bright and sunny. So I figured I would either do it right here in my bed or maybe see if it's warm outside because that would be really fun. But So all I use for my Devo is a Bible and then my journal. And I'll show you guys like how I kind of set up this time. Oh, with the red eyes, tell me his name has got you tangled up. Uh, 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 She's a lover like a pipe bomb. She's got the pink sunglasses. So it's going to be a little challenging with my cereal to sit over here and do it but that's okay what I've been doing for actually almost all of quarantine now is like I've been so diligent about my time with God and it's been so awesome so it's I decided to make it my first thing I do in the morning because a lot of times I'll get onto social medias and things like that right away and I just didn't think that was like the best way to start my morning um, so I've been getting my breakfast and combining it with my Devo so then I can kind of do two things at once because I'm always starving. I'm literally star so starving when I wake up. But I will show you guys how I've been setting this up. So I picked a book, actually two books. So you can start with one, but I wanted to do two. So I've been reading the book of Romans and Revelations together. Um, not really that they go together or not um, to make them go together. Just those were the two books I read that I wanted to read. So, I have my Bible open to that first book, and then a very free format of journaling. I start with like, hello God, happy Monday. Um, that was yesterday. And I'll, and I'll like just talk to him about my day, I'll talk about what I pray for, how things are going, what things are maybe not going so well. After that little entry, I write down what book I'm reading, and then I will write down any verse from that chapter um, that I read today that I really like or that really spoke to me and I'll write it in here so then later I can like look back through different verses that affected me during that time in different ways so that's been really cool um, so that's what I'll do today I'll just open it up um, with a little hello God this is what's happening this is what's good he knows what's happening and he like um, but I think there's a really nice thing about being vulnerable with God and just like writing it out. That really helps me. You guys might be different, but that's what I choose to do. And then we'll read Romans. Another thing is, is I felt myself want to read out loud. So I don't know if that Holy Spirit telling me to say it out loud and, and say these words out loud, but I've been like trying to read them inside and then I'm like I just really want to read them out loud for some reason so I kind of think just take this time however um, God is calling you to and if you really really feel inclined to read it out loud read it out loud 
So I'm gonna make some TikToks now, probably enough for the whole entire week, since I want Tuesday to really be like my content overload day where I just get everything done. So I'm going to put my makeup on. Um, I think you guys have seen my makeup routine before. There's not really like a lot to it. <laughs> um, and I don't do everything perfectly. It's funny the memes that are like, you cannot be... It's funny all the memes about like the high maintenance girls. They're like, you cannot be high maintenance during quarantine because you can't get your nails done. You can't get your eyelash extensions done. Like it's, it's funny. But I decided to not get eyelash extensions anymore, mostly because of money. And I felt like I wanted that money to go to other things um uh because i guess i wanted to put my money into things that were like actually benefiting my future so like putting 50 dollars into my savings account instead of eyelashes um but am i suffering yes <laughs> i just have to get used to it again and um the extensions did do some damage on my natural lashes um they're looking very short and very sad and so i just have to grow them back <clears throat> i never do makeup routines because my routine is just like random and then i go in with the tr translucent pow translucent powder um and put it everywhere because it just feels like it helps with <laughs> something next i do bronzer and this is the elf bronzer i don't really have a preference of what bronzer I have. I kind of just go to the store and try to look for one that seems good. And then I pretty much put bronzer on my whole face because I'm so white. I'm like super pale and I do self tanner. So I have to put my bronzer like everywhere. Next I do blush. I've had this Milani brush for months. Strange. And then I do, I'm going to go in with highlighter. I've had this highlighter, it's also e.l.f. for the longest time, it just doesn't seem to uh, run out. I also don't spend that much money on my makeup, so. And then I put highlighter on my cheekbones, my nose, and then my eyelids as a base. So here's my finished makeup look. Not terrible, but like look at my lashes. They're so short, I miss them. But I'm gonna go see what I can do with my hair. Um, and then let's, let's film a TikTok. Okay, so I just put a little braid in and then I put my sublime shirt on and some hoops. I kind of think I'll be as extra as like doing different shirts for different TikToks, but it looks like I filmed them all week, but we'll see. That's a little, a little extreme. Usually when I do TikToks, I stand at a window so the lighting's really good and you can see me. Um, so I think that's what we're gonna do right now. I'll just stand at this window. So now I'm gonna do some paintings because I have it all set up. I made some plant stickers, so I'm going to make some other ones. I'm just going to make a whole bunch of them today. I'm going to film, like, all of them so I can put them on my art TikTok. So you guys can look at that. I'll have it linked down below. But we're just going to paint like everybody else in quarantine. So I'm going to make two things right now. It's my grandpa's birthday tomorrow, so I need to make him a birthday card. And then I'm also going to make a to-do list. Um, for plant lovers. I love to do this and I know a lot of people like plants and I've just been making pant, plant paintings and they're really fun so I thought I'm gonna make a to-do list. So I... Oh! Oh no. Oh no. I need a paper towel stat. Did that look cool for you guys? Oh 
Poops. My boyfriend would be so mad if he saw that. He bought this camera for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. It was just... I don't even know what happened. Um, that's what I've been doing these days. Homework. Trying to make content. And eating. But I will see all of your beautiful faces next Friday.